All right, guys. Hey, it's Richard, your mind hacker, the mind master coach here. And today is the daily mind fuel. And today I got an awesome guest here, one of my good friends. Her name is Zai, and she's from Zai Mystique, right? Hey, Zai, how good to have you on, eh? Thank you. And so, guys, I had a big question for Zai because she is so such a passionate person, right? Mm -hmm. I mean, you might think I'm passionate, but I've seen her. If you go check her out and check out her video, she just blows. <laughs> shit out of the water right <laughs> so Zai the question I have for you is you know and a lot of people ask me is you know how do you know when to follow your passions yeah and you know when, when shouldn't someone follow your passion but let's go first when when should someone follow their passions first what do you think Zai okay um, personally I have been doing business the last 15 years um, after I graduated from school my before I graduated my mom wanted me to take a degree yeah and I'm like, no mommy, I'm not going to take a degree. I'm going to take the road less travel. Wow. So, okay. and she wanted me to be a doctor. I wanted to be a model or I wanted to be a famous henna artist or makeup artist or something. And then um, when I decided on that to follow my dreams and to follow my heart, mm -hmm. and that was when I met a total stranger, now my good friend, yeah. and who said, you know what, you do henna, you should bring this to Japan. I was not even 21 that time. I celebrated my 21st birthday in Japan. Yeah. So when uh, she said that, I'm like, Japan. Then I'm like, ah, maybe this is the it for me. So I said, okay. So I packed my bag. It was supposed to be a two weeks trip to Japan. It became a six month stay. I was doing henna <laughs> art and yeah, teaching yeah. henna art in Japan. Oh, wow. In Tokyo, Nagoya. I was invited to Osaka. I was interviewed by the Tokyo FM. Uh, I appeared on the army magazines and people from all over Japan came to Nagoya just to learn henna from me. Mm. So that is the power of following your heart. Mm. There is something um, that we need to remember. Um, is it too long? Yeah, keep going. No, you're doing great. <laughs> is there some, there's something we need to always remember. There's one thing about asking permission Mm. from our our parents or from our spouse or our partners or even for ourselves mm. but there's a difference between seeking permission and seeking approval oh, tell us about that tell us about that <laughs> so seeking permission is okay you respect the person you you just want to inform to me that's less informing okay mommy i'm going to japan yeah uh, the example right uh -huh. but seeking approval is like hey, you know what um should i do this mm -hmm. you already know it in your heart like damn i have to do this like this is it for me i don't care if, if i fail or not but i just want to do it but yeah. you ask if you want to ask someone ask the right person mm -hmm. someone who's been there done that mm -hmm. like find a coach or mentor who have been there done that like she's written a book or she's traveled the world or something and you know, like mm. you are an expert. And <laughs> so asking about dating advice, about relationship, he's like the go-to hard guy, right? <laughs> so so um, same thing, if you ask me about relationship, I'll just say, dude, just be single and happy. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. so I'm not going to be useful for you guys. But for me, if you, you just ask the right person the right question, do not seek approval from just anybody. Mm -hmm. It's your life, you have to decide and you have to step up. Yeah. And take massive action. Yeah, wow. Yeah. So, Zai, it sounds like, you know, stop looking for approval from other people. Just give yourself that permission first, right? Yes. And then, then you can follow your passions, right? Yes. Then you can follow your heart. Yes. And when you step and out and... Just fly. Just fly. That's yes. it. That's it. So, guys, I mean, Zai, thank you so much for Welcome. that, right? And so, if they want to learn more about you and what you do, Zai, mm. where's the best place to go? You can go to... Uh, I'm on Facebook, Instagram for ZAI space M-I-Z-T-I-Q. That's I Mystique and I have a website, mystically.com. So I welcome anyone to be my ally. Richard's my ally now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Partners in crime. Yeah. So we're just going to do good, serve the world, be happy. That's very, very, very important. Oh, if awesome. you're not happy, then think again. What's going to make me happy? Boom. That's a question yeah. I asked myself so many times when I was going through that hard part yeah. in my life as well. It's so important. Zai, what we do here on the Daily Mind Fuel mm. is... I, we always have a question of the day. Okay. So, your opportunity now to ask the viewers here, what is the question they should be asking themselves today? Maybe you already asked it, right? Yeah, okay. If there's a powerful question, there's three actually. <laughs> <laughs> Who am I? Yeah. What makes me unique? And what makes me special? Yeah. That will help you identify your identity, yeah. gain confidence and clarity. That is the secret key to finding happiness. Awesome, Zai. Awesome. Yes. So, guys, what makes you super special? What is your superhuman 
or superhero power. Yeah. Right? That makes you so special. Maybe if you don't know, that's okay. That's why you have myself and Zai here to help、yes. you out to get there. Because this is what she's saying. You gotta find that coach who's gonna really light you up, you know, really bring out that flame, that light inside of you、yeah. so that you can go do more. And, and if I can share, like, how I help myself find myself, because if I'm gonna ask you the question, you might ask me, so, <laughs>、ah, who are you? What makes you unique and special? I found myself through strengths coaching.、Mm-hmm. I did a strengths finder test. When I found out my strengths, I understood I have number one empathy,、yep. I have ideation, I have positivity, I have adaptability, I have connectedness. When, especially when I found out I have number one empathy, I understood, gosh, I am so ultra inquisitive. I just wanna help the world.、Yeah. So now I find how to gel that. How do I help people through my books, through my speaking engagements,、mm. through my coaching, and through being around people like you guys? We just want to help the world and serve the world and just do more. Yeah, and so, it's yeah. exactly right. And sometimes that's what the coach does, right? Helps find you, your strengths,、yeah. really light that up. And so, Zai, thank you again. Absolute honor to have you on、thank、here. Thank you. And so, guys, remember question of the day what makes you superhuman? What makes you a super? A <laughs> hero, really. Super you, yeah. Super you, exactly, yeah. <laughs> exactly. So, guys, send out the question, answer the questions, reply to the email, copy this, send it over to whoever needs to know about this. And of course, guys, go out there, go live with love, guys, and go smash it. And I'll see you again tomorrow. Thanks. Bye. Bye. <laughs> But how many times do you walk past something? Yes, you, st- you actually stop. You stop and you actually have a look at it. Because kind of, I want to share this with you, right? Check this out. Check this out. Now, this is a beautiful flower here, right? It's amazing, it's so stunning. It's stunning because I, you know, 